In this video, I'm going to show you all the painting locations as well as where to go in the painting to find the reward that every painting will give you. Now let's start off with the first painting that is located in Limgrave at this spot right over here by this shack here. Now when you get to the paintings, all you have to do is press the examine button on them and you will receive the painting as a kind of like a secret quest. Now this one is called Homing Instinct Painting. Now every painting depicts a location that is in the game. So this one actually depicts a location over here. And when you go to the spot directly over here, which is just in front of these gravestones, you'll see a guy in a chair appear as like a ghost. And once you get near him, he'll disappear and he'll leave an item on the ground that you'll be able to pick up. And these are kind of rewards for finding these locations. The first one here is Incantation Scout that is a helmet that you can wear. The next painting is located in Stormvale Castle at this location over here. So we're going to this site of grace and we're going to run down to this room over here where the painting is located. I'm going to quickly show you where this is. So from the site of grace, we're just going to head towards the south here. You should recognize this open area. In fact, this is probably one of the only paintings you've probably found in the game, to be honest. And when you go in this room, you'll find the painting though. This is the prophecy painting. And in order to find where this location is, we're going down to the southern end of Limgrave over here. And above this church at this location, here we're going to head there and you'll be able to find on the cliff the ghost will appear looking over that waterfall in the distance and you'll be able to get the warhawk ashes spirit summon the next painting is located to the right side of Liurnia over here as you can see at this spot over here so when you get to this shack over here you'll be able to find the painting and this is the painting for resurrection now to find this location, you have to head further north and this is after you've progressed through the Carrier Manor area and to the northern side of it. And that is how you're gonna get to this location over here where you'll find the ghost with the actual location. So when you get here, it's in this like giant graveyard and stuff, there are some enemies and there's like a secret little wolf boss, but you'll find this dude, the ghost staring at the tower in the distance here and he will leave you a juvenile scholar cap, a juvenile scholar robe, as well as one larval tear. The next painting is located in Kaledith that you need to take this main path and you just follow this road here until you enter the Celia Sorcery Town, which is basically located over here. Now I'm going to show you starting from the site of grace that you collect over here exactly which path to take. So just follow along with me here. As soon as you leave the site of grace, just head towards the southern east and up the stairs. Just kill the enemies that are in your way or just run past them. Up the stairs here, you're going to take your immediate right. And then here, you're going to take an immediate left and you'll see there's a bunch of rubble over here. And at the back of the rubble, there is the painting hidden over here. And this is the red main painting. Now the location depicted in this is, I have no idea how people are supposed to figure this out, but starting from Fort Faroth in Kaled, which is just north of the location that we were at, we're gonna head to this minor ur tree over here and we're gonna parkour down the side of this giant steep cliff over here to find the ghost over here. So starting from the, the Fort Faroth site of grace, let me guide you the exact path that you need to take. So head northeast until you see the giant tree. You can jump into the wind over here to make a nice landing. And then from here at this part over here towards the east, you're going to jump down onto a branch that is located just below it here. And then you're going to head to the edge over here. Now I have died here a few times because this parkour is a bit tricky and it's very hard to like land on these things. So you've got to jump onto this branch over here and then you're going to progress forward. Now I recommend using the, the mount from here. You can actually swap between whichever one you want. Just uh, be careful because the, the odds of you dying are very, very high especially at this part right over here. So I recommend actually facing the northwestern side here, just ahead of this little branch and try fall down over here. Now you just gotta edge slightly to land on either this one or the one directly below it. Like I've missed this a few times here where I've gone and I've like just bounced off of the bottom and then fallen to my death a few times. From here, you wanna take a torrent and you wanna jump over to the pillar directly this way. And then there is a branch towards the, the northern side here or the northwestern side here against the wall that you can see or against the cliff side. And we're gonna jump onto this. Now I made use of my double jump just to make sure I'm landing in the right exact location that I want to be. And then from here, it should be easier just to get down. You just go to the, the lower end of the branch here and just fall onto the floor. And once you've made it to the floor, just head to the kind of like cliff side over here. Just avoid that giant enemy at the background. This is where you're gonna get the Ash of War Reign of Arrows. And that was a tough one. The next painting is located in Lendel Capital. So we're starting at this site of grace over here. Basically, we're gonna go from here. We're gonna jump off to the side and go into this main building over here to this site of grace. And by this site of grace, there's actually the painting. So to show you from the major site of grace that I started at, we're gonna be going along this path, which you should recognize. And then we're gonna go off the beaten path here, jump off of that wall down into this big building over here. And you're just gonna progress to the far back right door. And you're just gonna take the first lift and then you're gonna go right again. It's pretty linear 
near, you should find it and you'll see the painting is in front of you. This is the Flightless Bird painting. Now the location depicted in here is actually at this windmill location at the northern end of Altus Plateau. And this is the crazy village, by the way. So when you go to this location right over here where I marked, you'll find a bunch of people dancing for no apparent reason and the ghost over here. And this one will award you the incantation for fire's deadly sin. For the next painting, we're heading over to the Secret Shaded Castle, which is literally, you just follow up the path from the southern end. It's actually straightforward. We're going to this location in the castle over here. But once you get here, the path that you need to take is over here. So as you approach the castle, you're gonna enter from this side here onto the wall, and you're just gonna stick to this wall all the way down to the end, defeat this enemy. And you'll see there is a kind of like roof structure over here, and you're just gonna jump off on the left side, go up the stairs, and you will see the painting is in this little kind of thing over here. Now this is the Champion's Song painting. and the location that this one depicts is over here. So just outside the Lendl capital walls over here at that location, you are going to approach this from the southern uh, eastern side. And that's how you will get on top of this little like little mountain cliff thing here. There is a dragon over here. So be careful. Stick towards the corners as much as you can. Just run to this ghost and collect the harp bow. For the final painting, we're going to Castle Sol at the northern end of the mountaintop of the Giants. And starting from the site of Grace, you're basically going to follow my path over here. So as you enter the castle, you're going to take an immediate left here going through these barricades over here. And then you're going to go up the stairs and to the right, and you're going to take the first door on the left. There'll be some slugs here. Just defeat them, then go up the ladder. At the top of this ladder, we have a very interesting set of enemies that we're going to be fighting. So we're going to head off to the southern west location. So right by this tower here, there will be an enemy who encounters you on this little edge here. Defeat him. Right around this corner, you're going to have a dude with a ballista that shoots explosive arrows. Very fun. There's another one shooting at him too. So you got to try to get past all of this without dying, which is it's very ir irritating to, to deal with. So go ahead and kill them once you're done with them there is a ladder at the top of this room and when you go into here there is the painting located inside of this this room underneath you this one is the sorcerer painting and this location that it depicts is right over here so just towards your southern western location on this bridge over here we're going to the spot so at this bridge over here, it will be towards the eastern looking point here. So you're going to jump off to the, the left side from approaching from the top. And we're going to be looking at those pillars in the distance. You'll see the ghost here disappears and he leaves behind the Great Hood. And those are all the paintings you can find as well as the rewards in Elden Ring. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.